When I think about the Humane Society of Boulder Valley and really where we want to go in the future, it's becoming an all-inclusive pet resource for our community. And why do we want to be that pet resource for our community? That's so that we can put our mission of creating healthy pets, healthy relationships between pets and people out into the community and we can all partake in this. And when I really think about it, what part of our building right now really exemplifies our mission the most and touches the community the most, and that's through our training center. Our training center does positive reinforcement training. Um, that's where people are directly seeing how to create those healthy relationships between pets and people. What's so fantastic about that is that our community is always asking to take more classes, um, to work with our training and behavioral staff even more, but our classes are always waitlisted. So when we, when I approached that issue of not being able to give back into our community and really expand our mission the way we wanted to, I thought, how can we really increase our resources um, when we don't have the resources right now to have more staff capacity, to even have more space in our building, um, and where are a lot of people turning for these kinds of issues, but online. And that's where I came up with the idea for the virtual training center. Um, this would kind of be a three-part process, which is how I visualized it, that would allow our community to really partake in our mission more hands-on and even from the convenience of their own home. The first part I thought of was a blog, and this was really an integral step to becoming a resource so that when people had questions about positive reinforcement training, they'd go straight to the blog, see what we were teaching, and have those options available. The second part was um, chat support. So I thought chat support would be a great complement to the blog feature because we could have downloadable content on our blogs, we could sell training videos or offer them at a discounted cost, and then if people had any questions about those videos or any hang-ups that would keep them from um, doing those videos, that they could type in their question and have their question easily answered so they wouldn't have to come in and we wouldn't have to do those um, spatial restrictions. The third part that we got really excited about here was actually Skype training, and I use the word Skype to really represent um, video chatting. Um, the possibilities with this are endless because when you take your classroom online, there really are no walls. So if people couldn't get into our group classes because we were sold out, we would be able to um, project those out onto the web so they could log into our virtual classroom and they could see the classroom, they could see the class happening. If you had a dog with behavioral issues that maybe wouldn't respond well to having a trainer in your home, you could set up your video chat and the trainer could come um, and could see your home from the office and really coach you on how to work with your dog without having that added stre stress. So we got really excited about the idea for the virtual training center. We're gonna start implementing it in 2018 and I think it's just a really fantastic way to um, embrace technology, which is where the world is going. Everyone's going online to be that pet resource, one, um, so that people could access that resource, not just within our own walls, but on the web itself, maybe um, putting Dr. Google to shame a little so that people would come to us first instead of finding all that boundless information. Um, three, they could really just participate in our mission and creating uh, healthy relations between pets and people without all those other obstacles that we had before.